So you just got coral into your tank, it's starting to grow out, and your alkalinity is starting to dip. What do you do? Well, you're gonna dose an additive of some kind. And nowadays in the market, it's really hard to choose which additive is right for you. So we're gonna go ahead and categorize them to three separate categories so you can make an informed decision for your tank. Category number one is gonna be all-in-one solutions. Category number two is gonna be your basic two parts, um, all the way up to four parts depending on which system you're looking at. And then category number three is gonna be specialty systems. First, we're gonna be talking about my favorite approach to mineral supplementation in a reef tank, and that is all-in-one solutions. So that's gonna be your Tropic Marin Alpha Reef, which comes in both a liquid and a powder solution. And then we have Aquaforce 3-in-1, which is relatively new. But both work on the same premise with calcium formate as the basis for forming that, which relies on bacteria to process that into calcium and carbonates for your corals which I think is really, really cool. Sounds really complex as far as the chemistry goes, but they're a super simple way to add calcium, magnesium, alkalinity, and all the trace elements to your reef without having to do multiple dosing heads or multiple supplements to get the same job done. That's right, but there is some downsides to it. If you have a really big tank with a ton of corals in it, sometimes the bacteria that's gonna make your calcium is not gonna be able to keep quite up with the tank. And so you're gonna need to do a dosing supplement like uh, some calcium, uh, supplement separately. But if you have a beginner tank or a smaller tank, these are really great to just use one dosing head and get going. Yeah. And uh, historically, I would say that cost would be a huge issue, but ever since Alfred came out with the powdered version, it is a lot more affordable. I will still say that two part additives might be a cutting edge as far as affordability goes because you can get them in a dry powder, which is really, really cheap compared to doing either any of these approaches. Um, and if you have a high demand tank, you're going to notice that more so than if you have a low demand tank. That's right. And we wanted to add an honorable mention to this category here. We're going to go with Calc Losser for an honorable mention. It is technically a one-headed doser or even you're dosing with your auto top off, but there's some restrictions, right? Yeah. So besides having the great pH boost, which these lack, um, it is limited by your evaporation in the aquarium. So if you're only evaporating a gallon of water a day, you can only add a gallon of cockwasser, which if you have a bigger tank or a really high demand tank, that may not be enough to get your alkalinity and calcium where you need to on a daily basis. Next up is something you've probably already heard of, uh, two-part, uh, also known as three-part, sometimes four-part, but the basis of it is that you're going to be dosing each part separately. So your alkalinity, calcium, magnesium, trace elements, they all get separated and dosed separately. Yes. So there's a couple different varieties within this little category. So there are some basic two parts like the BRS uh, two part approach or the Tropic Marin balling method, which is going to be just your calcium, alkalinity, magnesium with no trace elements added to it. So these give you the foundation of what you need. And this is really good for early on when you have a younger tank. You probably don't need the trace elements the way you did, do in a full grown mature SPS tank. But if you want to start off on the right foot, you can do something like ESV Bionic, which is going to have those trace elements mixed in and give you the trace elements throughout the entire life so you don't have to switch additives at some point in the future, which makes dosing really easy long-term, in my opinion. That's right. So the reason you'd pick this is either if you're trying to cost save, these like the BRS additives are very affordable, or if you want ultimate control over your reef tank and you want to dose everything separately, this is going to be the way to go. And you're also going to want these if you're ever making any major adjustments to your level. So if you start dosing like six months after you've kept starting corals, your alkalinity might be at like five and you need to bump it up to say eight, nine, whatever value you want to keep it at. You're going to want to use one of these to adjust it first before you start doing any other of these approaches to dosing your additives. That's right. So even if you are going to go with a Triton method or something else like the Alpha Reef, go ahead and have some of this on hand so you can buffer or lower levels as you need. And the last category we're going to go over is the complete systems. There's a few brands that offer these like Red Sea here and Triton. But the reason I love these so much is because they're going to offer everything you need in either three or four bottles that you can dose to your tank. You dose them all exactly the same and they just work. It's really simple. I like those ideas. It requires usually at least three to four dosing hands depending on the system that you're using. Um, and there are a little nuances as well. So if we look at like Triton, for example, there is the Triton system core seven, then there's the other methods. What's the difference on that? Right, so I run the Core 7 here in the BRS360, and that's because it's focused mainly on growing macroalgae. And so we have a very large refugium growing a large Cato ball, and that works great for that. But if you don't want to focus on macroalgae, you could do something like the other method where it's not going to require a large Cato ball, and you're not going to be, it's not going to be so particular in exactly how you operate it. Yes, and then you have the Red Sea one, which I think is really unique. And if you have the Reef Dose 4, it works perfectly programmed right into the Reef Dose 4 itself. So you just have to say that you're dosing that additive and it'll figure it all out for you, which is really cool. And you only need to test calcium for that particular one, which I think is really cool. That's right. So overall with this category, if you're going to go with one, stick with one specific brand. So like if you go with Red Sea, stick with the Red Sea additives, dose with the Red Sea, 
uh, dosing additives and test with Red Sea equipment. Um, same thing with Triton. I recommend doing eight ICP tests with your Triton Core 7 because that's going to really help uh, determine exactly what you need to be dosing with these regiments. Yes, they're all great options and have a lot of benefits. Uh, which one's your favorite? Uh, I'm going to go with the Triton Core 7. It's my absolute favorite dosing method. How about you? Um, I'm going to go for all for Reef. I just like the simplicity of one dosing head, one additive to worry about, and it covers all my bases. Awesome. What's your guys' favorite? <laughs>